Hi there, I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my Smart American Accent Training. In this video, we'll look at the words compare and comparable. We can compare the vowel sounds and the stress patterns in these two words to help you pronounce them correctly and easily in your everyday speech. So first of all, when we look at the word compare, the stress falls on the pair syllable. So letters AR say the air diphthong, just like an air or airplane. Uh, typically when we have an E at the end, um, oftentimes it will make the letter say its name. Uh, unfortunately with A-R-E, we also sometimes use that spelling for R, but in a word like par versus pair, or car versus care, that E means that we'll have that A, tense A sound, the A diphthong, air. So building this word from the back can be very helpful for the rhythm. That would sound like pair, compare. You notice that even though I have the letter O, this it's an uh sound, vowel schwa, and it's almost like there's no vowel there. I'm really short and reduced on it, Com compare. Um, that way I can think about, um, I do have other words that start with C-O-M that have uh, the stress on the first syllable, um, and they may have a different vowel sound. In this case though, we're saving our clear vowel for the stress syllable pair, and we're having a reduced vowel in the first syllable, compare. When we move to comparable, that changes, and our stress falls on the first syllable, com. So now the letter C-O-M, say the letter O says the ah vowel, the open unrounded ah, comparable. And because uh, the second syllable, the A-R is now unstressed, it changes to an er sound, compar, comparable. And so um, that's quite a difference, compare and comparable. Um, and you can see that the vowels change because of that stress pattern. Um, the second A in able is also a schwa. And then um, the BL ending, it's a syllabic L. So I'm just moving quickly from the B to the UL sound, bull, comparable, a bull, um, so that I can, um, there's not really much vowel there at all. It's very reduced. I would say with comparable, it's probably going to be helpful to practice it slowly one syllable at a time and then speed it back up. That would sound like comparable, comparable, comparable. Notice that this uh sound is very quick and sometimes it almost might sound like it's not there, like comparable, comparable. Um, it's very reduced. Um, we do typically have that syllable there, but um, if I'm going too slow or stretching too much on these other last syllables, it will sound incorrect. Once you can say compare and comparable by themselves, do try practicing them in some short phrases because you may find that you master the word by itself, then you go to use it and you still struggle to pronounce it correctly. So I'll give you a few examples that you can practice. We just compared these two words. Um, I'd like to compare and contrast these two ideas. Um, it's a comparable size. Um, it's a comparable uh, approach. Um, thank you for this request. If you have a request you'd like to see me cover, feel free to leave that in the comments for this video or any of my videos. I'll be back again tomorrow with another word of the day and Saturday we'll have our live question and answer class. You can come type your questions in the chat and I'll answer them for you live. If you need more help for the sounds in these words, compare, comparable, understanding the rhythm, syllable stress, you may want to check out our online courses on speechmodification.com. Our Sounds of English course is going to walk you through all of the sounds of English, how they're spelled, what words they're in, and what accent patterns to watch out for. And our American Accent six-week class is going to teach you about rhythm, pronunciation, and American accent at a more advanced level. Um, all of our online courses are available for under $2, so they're a really good resource to help you build your skills without costing you very much. I hope you'll check those out on speechmodification.com. Thanks for watching this video, for liking, commenting, and sharing. All of those things help the channel to grow, and I truly appreciate your support, especially those of you who have subscribed or joined as channel members. Thank you so much. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound like a native speaker, you can do it. Speechmodification.com. Bye, everyone. Hope to see you again soon.